and they're going to offer clinical support for some underserved uh, populations. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris has been talking with people who have been hoping and praying for this offer. And Janice is joining us live at UF Health, where they're going to be testing more people in some specific neighborhoods. Janice. So the testing that's been happening at Lot J, that will continue. But the focus for this one is for anyone 65 years or older. Sometimes they are asymptomatic, meaning they don't show symptoms. Something similar, similar happened in South Florida. And they want to see if that's the same here in Jacksonville. A typical doctor's visit for Deborah Townsend Reed is anything but normal these days. With gloves covering her hands and a mask for her nose and face, she's trying to protect herself from COVID-19. Does this scare you at all? Very much so it scares me. The reason it scared me because of I can't uh, interact with my grandkids anymore. Friends will come over and sit in the yard. They can no longer come and sit in the yard. I cannot go to church. Townsend Reed wants to know if she's been exposed to COVID-19, but can't afford to pay for a test, and she doesn't have any symptoms. We also continue to get good news. This, this afternoon, this Governor after DeSantis after after announced some good news Townsend Reed has been waiting for. We're working with UF Shands. Uh, we've provide, provided a number of these collection swabs for them. For um, They're going to do two things in the Jacksonville area. Uh, one, they're going to offer clinical support for some underserved uh, populations. Beginning Wednesday, the Oaks in Durkeyville is one of five locations where people will be tested. The testing will happen here at the community center. The focus will be anyone 65 years of age or older. This less than a mile from Townsend Reed's doctor's office. I think that would be a great idea. Similar testing happened last month for hundreds of senior citizens at the villages. There was concern that seniors may have the virus but were not showing any symptoms. Everyone tested negative for COVID-19. Now the study is expanding to Jacksonville. Townsend Reed looks forward to being tested and hopes she has the same negative results. And I want you to take a look at these dates. Now, tomorrow, the walk up and drive throughs, that's the community based screening that will happen for the residents that are at the Oaks at Durkeyville or have a UF Health primary care doctor. That's from 9 a.m. until noon. Then on Friday from 1 to 5 p.m., Emmett Reed Community Center in Jacksonville, which is just across the street from Oaks at Durkeyville. Next week also is an important week. Brentwood, they will have theirs. Hogan Creek. Twins Tower and Centennial Towers. To find out more information, all you have to do is go to this story on our website, newsforjacks.com. Reporting live, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.